can social media, your social media, your Facebook account, your Instagram, your YouTube, whatever you're using essentially on a daily basis, can these accounts go ahead and get you a visa ban or deportation? That's what this video is about. Some of the questions we're going to be answering in this video are present on your screen right now. You can take a look, you can understand if this video is something you would be interested in. Guys, keep in mind, just three years ago, the embassy did not ask for social media handles. However, since COVID itself, or after COVID essentially, this change was implemented that you now need to submit and voluntarily submit your social media handles, details of where you have accounts, what are the links to those accounts, in your DS-160 form. And why do they want you to declare all of them? Because they will be evaluating them and deciding whether you, my friend, should be given a visa to go to the US or not. Now, this might seem crazy, right? What you do on your social media is your personal, you know, stuff. Like, it's it's really not their business. They don't really need to see what, what's going on there. It's your private material that you do not need to share with them especially just to go to their country but apparently the US has chosen to ensure that they don't leave any card unturned so if they're going to be giving you the visa they want to go ahead and check if you are suitable to get the visa apparently. Now the first question that might come to your mind is do you need to submit all your social media handles and the answer to that is at least the ones that you are using on a daily basis should be submitted and especially do not hide public accounts that are easy to be found. For instance, if you write my name down on Google, you'll find my Instagram very easily. So it would be stupid of me to try to hide that account, which is very easily available and publicly visible with one Google search. However, in my opinion, and we have done thousands of visas since the COVID case and you know since the COVID phase and we're, we're basically doing them every year 5,000 plus visas in my experience what I can tell you is that if you leave some social media handles out which are not being used on a daily basis now these are not important accounts maybe you use use this account once in three months six months you don't need to specify that and yes there won't be any issues if you don't specify these you would still be able to get the visas smooth sailing now let's talk about the second question which is what if your accounts are actually private so you have a private account should you still submit the information? Now, my advice would be to still submit this information, submit your social media handles if you are using them very, very proactively. Especially if it's private, you don't need to worry because at the end of the day, they won't be able to see what's going on in there. Another question might be, is it possible to change my account from public to private temporarily until I'm in the visa process? And the answer is yes, you can absolutely do that. And there's nothing, it's, it's your right. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. And it is not illegal. Even if there's something that you believe might get your rejection for a visa, you can potentially make it private. Third question, can your visa be rejected on the basis of social media? And the answer is yes, a very big yes. The reason, let me give you an example. For instance, you are a student in the US and you're making videos about, um, I don't know, driving Uber and making money while you're on a student visa. Now this information is clearly indulging people or basically forcing other people to consider this alternative which is illegal which is already something that the US government does not want you to do yet you're going ahead and promoting endorsing this pathway of course that is something that will get you a rejection my friend so what kind of information is actually reviewed on your account comments may be reviewed your posts may be reviewed if you have videos they may be reviewed as well any photos anything you publish essentially can be reviewed and may be actually used to deny a US visa to you. Point number four, what if you already have the visa? Can you be deported due to your social media? The answer is absolutely yes. And I'll give you an example. If you go into the port of entry where you basically land in the US, you just got down the airplane. Now, before you actually enter the country, you have to get through security, all right? And border patrol will be there to make sure that you cross the port of entry only if you shouldn't be crossing it. So many times what would happen is that they would randomly carry out secondary inspection and secondary inspection means they will call you into a room keep you there to, for sometimes even seven eight hours take your phone your laptop and use those things use those devices to actually see if there's something that is against the law now let's give you an example you maybe you have an uncle in the u.s who's helping you find work in the u.s once you're there however you're going over there on a student visa so you should really be studying hence that is something that is unlawful and just on the basis of this your visa can be revoked and you can be deported from the country as well remember that they may even go as far as to review your private information such as your chats your emails your photos things that 
literally no one should be allowed access to. That's apparently how CBP works and they are just able to actually access this information in front of you. They will take your phone away and they'll ask you to put the passcode, review everything if you want to enter their country. Otherwise, they say go back. As unfair as that sounds, this has been happening and we've seen this happen with multiple people. There's been news about the many students from Hyderabad who were deported at the board of entry going to the same school simply because their phones were checked and they found some information that wasn't supposed to be there and they actually deported all of these students. And final question, can immigration officers check your phone laptop? I think I've already answered that. Yes, they can, unfortunately. So as much as we would like to say that we live in a world where your content is yours, no one will be able to actually judge you on the basis of that or no one will be able to actually review it and deny you a visa. Unfortunately, that's not true anymore. These activities just on social media can actually get you deported, they can get you a travel ban, they can get, get your visa revoked as well, and they can get you visa denials. So make sure that whatever you're doing online, do it carefully. It's no longer private and uh, I wish you all the best. Make sure that you reach out to me if you need any help. My WhatsApp number is in the description. Follow me on Instagram where you'll find much more similar content. And thank you for watching this video.